Well, hey there, everybody. This is Justin Dyke from CartoonSmart.com. And uh, you actually might also know me from my uh, blog, SpriteKitLessons.com. And what are we going to be doing here today? Well, this is a video for those of you that have never used Xcode at all. And I uh, just kind of want to get started playing around a little bit. And uh, there, there is a way to do that, to kind of lightly dip your feet into the program. And, uh, well... What are you looking at here? I've already created a uh, new project, but let's step you back all the way to the beginning. So if you um, just installed it, you're going to go over here to New Project. And uh, since we're going to be focusing in on game development and um, Swift, we're going to go over here to iOS, Application, Game. Click on Next. Uh, you can call this anything you want. Um, just put some dummy name in there for right now. And uh, the language is going to be Swift. And then the game technology is going to be Sprite Kit. All right, so I'm going to just cancel this out because I've already got that right here. And uh, one of the first places that you're going to end up is going to be your uh, game scene .swift file. And what I'm going to do is, I mean, we could build this real fast and just kind of see what's on screen. And by the way, if you guys want to skip, <laughs> for those of you that have familiar with my lessons you know I can talk a lot but uh, if uh, if you want to skip ahead to something where I'm actually programming go for it I'm just gonna be talking to the people that uh, have never used Xcode at all so here we go we've built it uh, this is in the uh, the Xcode simulator you get all these uh, different options over here for um, potential testing uh, devices and of course uh, if you've uh, oh great I'm ineligible it's because I upgraded <laughs> my Xcode recently uh, it's uh, but you can also test on your actual devices which is of course going to be the premium uh, delivery format or del testing environment uh, but uh, the simulator is okay in the beginning and um, and, and just pick out whichever one you want to uh, play around with and then just hit that uh, that play button right there and you guess that stop will make it uh, stop running okay and uh, the code that you saw there I is is uh, or what I, you saw me doing was just cl clicking and making spaceships okay and uh, I, I don't really feel like going into all that <laughs> okay let's uh, let's do this let's take out what's currently in here because that's what you're gonna end up doing anyway all right and uh, we'll leave in that right there. Okay. Uh, now you're, you've kind of got a, a little bit of a cleaner <laughs> palette here. And uh, you can sort of read what's going on. It says, did move to view. Okay, so when our scene or our view kind of presented itself, and they even give you a little note here, set up your scene here. And then uh, this uh, this function gets called every time we touch uh, the screen. Okay, so if you just want to play around, you can write in here print line ln, and uh, we'll just say move to view, or let's really just call it. Things are getting set up. So, and then down here, let's do the same thing, and we'll just say touched screen and we won't worry about this one although you get a good indication of what's going on there just reading that by the way I do have plenty of more faster paced tutorials out there also free uh, okay so here we go uh, this line obviously just ran once things are getting set up and if you're not seeing that uh, that's because this little um, output window down here sh sh uh, I should say the debug area is uh, well it's the same thing output window is uh, not being seen and uh, you know, just fold that up and down, kind of stretch that back and forth if you've got some long lines to print out. And uh, let's do it one more time. Okay, here we go. So things are getting set up, and now I'm just going to tap down here. You can see it touched uh, the screen. So that's, of course, uh, one of many ways that you can uh, trigger things to happen uh, at runtime, okay? And, uh, you know, that's a term to describe things that are occurring or getting set up not when uh, not automatically, okay, their their uh, user interactions are occurring and uh, you might be, you know, tapping the screen to make a spaceship blow up or create an explosion or fire a weapon, things like that. Uh, so that could, just gives you kind of a brief idea of what's going on there. And then, um, <laughs> reminder to blog about things. And then uh, and down in the update statement, you know, this, uh, I've described this before as uh, sort of the, the, the knife part of the Swiss Army knife, okay? It's, it's, it's one of your most important things in a game uh, because it is running super fast and it can 
well, calculate things at uh, 60 frames per second. And you can see right here, it says called before each frame is rendered. Uh, so you, you might move a, uh, a game character in this statement, all right? Uh, you might um, decide that the game is over, okay? Uh, you might calculate anything. It doesn't matter what it is, but um, I've also said this before many times. Don't be afraid to use it, okay? Just because it is running super fast, all right? And that's kind of a staggering number right there that, 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 the, that the program is doing anything at 60 frames per second. Uh, don't be afraid to put a lot of code in there. Everybody does, um, and uh, most likely with uh, the you know modern <laughs> iPhone devices, you're not going to be able to trip it up too much. Okay, and uh, if you do, you'll notice your frame rate slowing down, things like that. But uh, when you're just getting started here, uh, believe me, you can do a lot, and especially if you're testing on your device. A lot of times, this simulator will run at about 30 frames per second once you get a few images and things like that interacting. But uh, for the, I'd say you know your your devices are all going to run close to 60 frames per second as long as you don't do anything too stupid <laughs> okay so uh let's uh let's do this let's talk a little bit about um just setting up some basic variables and um functions and sort of the super basics that uh, would be boring in, a, in a, a lesson that maybe you had uh, bought or something like that. But if, hey, if you're watching it for free, why not uh, sit there and, and listen to me drone on about simple variables and everything. All right, so uh, I'll meet you right back here in just a moment in a new video.